it was just crazy to see how many people were crossing the street at once. It was un unreal, and this happens every day, you know, every few minutes, you know. And you try to compare it to somewhere like York, for instance, and it's just, there's something totally different about it. I'm not a big Blood and Guts fan. I was nervous, but I knew I wasn't going to miss this cultural experience. Go in, and first of all, you're kind of fighting for your life among the, the people on their mopeds, motorcycles, carts, what have you. <laughs> that was an experience in itself. And as you go deeper in, you'd start seeing chests of ice in the white styrofoam boxes. And then you get into the, in deep into the market, and they're just throwing things and chopping things and hacking things. There were so many people cutting up fish, and it was just such a way of life. The goriest thing I saw, I think there were eels just still kind of swimming around. Second goriest would be this enormous frozen tuna, and they would just put them through a saw. Like sawing up fish. These people do this every single morning. It was just hard to believe. <laughs> like ski -G. it's just crazy. It's just so high energy and intense. We weren't necessarily welcome there. Small places, big personalities, don't really mix in Japan. So I think ski -G was a really um, good exercise in seeing that and you know, trying to observe but not, you know, get in anybody's way. King Kakuji, it was, you know, obviously there's a big gold house. That's pretty cool. I think the other thing was cool was, the, you know, knocking the gong. Okay, okay. How low you bow is very important in Japanese culture. A lot of people wanted to speak English to me. It was interesting seeing how much they wanted to participate. I wouldn't pinpoint just one building. I'd probably say Kiyomizu Temple was the most interesting to me just because of people would jump off the plank and if they survived the jump, the wish that they made while jumping would come true. I think right now being a senior, my wish would be to find a first job that would give me lots of happiness and great joy and really help me apply the skills that I've learned. I feel refreshed and fun. That was really neat. Very peaceful, delicious water. <laughs> We weren't with the rest of the group, so it's just a bunch of us. And we just sat and meditated. Not that any of us knew how to meditate. It was really serene. It was a good moment in our trip to just sort of take things in, think. We didn't do a lot of that. We kind of were running from, from thing to thing, and so it was, you know, we all just kind of took off our shoes and just thought. Walking through the town, everything is just as as it not, had never happened. The city is just, it, it's, it's a city. Green, it's beautiful. There were some areas where you would see just a ladder that would be branching out of broken brick. There's glass embedded in a piece of wall, and that was the glass from the blast from a little boy that was, um, it's still stuck there. I knew that it would be a very sobering day, very um, good day for reflection on everything. It was, it was a really serious subject, but you know, it, 
it's something you have to preach, you have to accept. I think if somebody's going to be a leader, they need to go there. If somebody's going to control nuclear weapons, they need to see that kind of thing. It's so hard to understand um, without actually being in that place and trying to imagine being there. You can't, you can't let anything like that happen again. I jet lagged. I slept <laughs> a lot. I didn't go and get a hamburger and you know, nom 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 hamburger. <laughs> The first thing I did when I got home to the States was I announced that I'm not having rice for a month. I went to Chick-fil-A and then I made my parents sit down for probably like three or four hours and I gave them stories immediately. Japan was just a really incredible experience, something different that you can't get from professors. I think a lot of people I think it's so far around the world, so far away. You, you just have to go there. Taking a trip like this and going to that place, um, it changes things. It's it's something that you know is always a part of you. Um, you know, you, I'm not going to forget the trip that we went on. You just don't forget that. <laughs>